Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to make a simple home automation project with Arduino IoT Cloud System. So let's get started with this video. So for this project you will need an ESP8266 board, 4 channel relay module, breadboard and some wires. Now follow this circuit diagram if you are using this off the shelf components. As I have my own home automation PCB so I will not be using this breadboard connections. So here is my PCB. So to make this first I have designed this PCB on EZDA and then I have downloaded the Gerber file of this PCB. To order this PCB I am visiting jlcpcb.com who is also the sponsor of this project. So over here first we will sign in with our ID and then we will upload the Gerber file. After uploading the file we will select the quantity and the color of our PCBs and straight away place the order. So after placing the order I quickly received my PCB in 7 days. So first I arranged all the components over this PCB and start the soldering process. So after soldering I am connecting my node MCU board. So after connecting the ESP8266 board we will connect it with our computer. Now search for Arduino IoT Cloud. Open this first link create.arduino.cc and it will ask you to sign in first. I have used my google id to sign in over here. And now we will click on create thing. So on this dashboard first we will rename this thing. So I am giving something like smart home automation or we can say smart home. Now we will add the device. So click on device. And as we are using ESP8266 node MCU board, so we will set up a third party device. We will select it and over here we will select node MCU 12E module. And we will click on continue. Here we will add the device name. So I am giving ESP8266. smart home then we'll proceed here they will provide you device id and secret key so kindly note this keys so it will be required in the later part of the video so i am pasting each and everything in my notepad So after saving these credentials, we will check this checkbox and click on continue. So after this congratulations you are all set, we will click on done. And now we will set variables. So we will click on add variable, we will give the name switch1, 
then we'll select the variable type as boolean it will be in the basic types and then select the boolean and it will create a declaration boolean switch one and then we'll add this variable similarly we'll create two more variables for switch two and switch three so same process click on add variable and give the name select the basic types boolean and add button so after adding all the three variables now we'll proceed further to network configurations in this network configurations you have to enter your wi-fi name that is the ssid enter the wi-fi password and enter the secret key which we noted before now all these credentials will be added in our code automatically so after doing the network configurations click on sketch button so here is our code generated in this code we'll need to add some pin definitions for our relays so i'm using d0 d1 and d2 pin and i'm setting it as an output pin for our relay so i will add all these three lines in the void setup loop then we'll go to void loop and in this function we'll add uh, lines to turn on and off the relay when switch is turned on so we'll write if switch one is turned on then we'll set digital write d0 to hive else digital write d0 to low so now we'll copy this same block and paste it in other switches as well and we'll change the pin number and the switch name so after adding these lines in all the functions our code is ready to upload so we can directly upload this code from this web only so for this you will need one application that is arduino create agent so i have already installed it so we'll open the full editor so over this we need to select uh, the board and the port in this drop down list so it's already selected for me as i have already used this before and just hit the upload button as we do in the arduino application and the code will be uploaded so after successfully uploading the code we'll create our dashboard so go in the dashboard menu and here click on build dashboard then over here you will find an add button click on it and go to things tab and select our thing that is smartphone and create widgets so this will automatically cre create all the variables which we added that is switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 and we'll also rename this if you want you can manually add the switches as well so now we'll connect our ac appliances to this relay modules so this is a bulb connection so cut one of the end of the bulb circuit and connect those two pins in our relay be very careful while doing this as we are using very high voltage uh, over this part of the circuit board so similarly i have connected three bulbs and our system is ready to be tested If you want to control this project from your smartphone, just download this Arduino IoT Cloud Remote and sign in with the same account which we used before. And here you will find your thing that is Smart Home and all the widgets will be appeared over here. 
So as you can see, three switches are available on my smartphone as well as on my laptop. And all the devices are synchronized. If you click switch on your smartphone, it will be reflected on your web link as well and vice versa. So in this way, you can control your appliances with Arduino IoT cloud system. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.